So racing the big races, the national series, the national championships is really indispensable for athletes at our level. It's where we test ourselves against the best and really push ourselves to our physical limit. But these smaller fun races are uh, really just what the sport is about. Uh, it's about adventure, it's about exploring new trails and uh, meeting all sorts of great new people. So the best of both was uh, an idea that I had about 10 years ago, riding with groups of road bike riders, mountain bike riders back in England, guys that didn't necessarily cross disciplines, so they didn't have a, a love for what each other did, but equally they're part of the cycling community. And if you ask them to choose, they'll choose very defiantly which one they love. But you know, how do we put them together and make it something that's more of a kind of fun community thing and build an experience around it too? There we go, the start of Best of Both. And I'm coming in with kind of a different set of goals. I feel like my main goal is not to have any setbacks with the rehab I'm currently in, but you don't need much of an excuse to pull me to bend in the summertime. So it was a great time, so I'm looking forward to the event. And, and the single track is just super fast, flowing through the woods with some whoops and jumps, and you just come up on everything. And I feel like you're wide open flowing through the woods. My entire schedule and really my, uh, my happiness is based around doing events, doing first year events and events that I've never done before. And uh, every year at the end of the year I, I uh, gauge my year by how many of those I do. And now I'm here for this event that's a first year event, first time I've done it. And as far as I know it's the first road bike, mountain bike duathlon that anybody's ever put on. I've been racing for about 10 years and I've never heard of an event like this where I have to jog in my cleats and switch bikes. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I think the thing that I've noticed in the process of promoting the event is the people that have signed up are intensely excited about it. But I think I'd like people to think about, well, people to, to enjoy it on the basis really that it's fresh and it's unique. Um, it's something different. It's something that's challenged them. Um, and ultimately, we want those people to come flooding back next year too, uh, where we can refine it and evolve it based on their feedback. You know, if it wasn't for the promoters with these crazy ideas, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have any reason um, to put together a program, collect sponsors, and uh, you know, really tell stories. Uh, and it's from these unique events, thanks to these amazing promoters, that we're able to uh, to be here. And so, uh, when I was contacted by the team management and told that the, this event was happening, uh, I didn't hesitate. I said, "Of course, I'm going to. I'll be there." Uh, this, this sounds great. This sounds like an amazing community event. I, I want to be at these events because I want there to be more of these events. 